So Tim, what would you say is particularly good about uh, fly fishing in the UK? Well, UK fly fishing has been established many years. It goes back to the early 1600s where the treaties, which was a book in those days, uh, by Dame Julia Verner. Uh, all about fishing uh, with long poles and rods to catch trout. Um, and uh, it goes back even further, that to the Macedonians catching uh, fish with hooks and lines in the um, first century. So nothing's new about fishing and fly fishing in England particularly is seen by the rest of the world as probably one of the, the places where fly fishing actually was born, particularly dry fly fishing. Um, so we've got some very famous rivers, the River Test in the south of England which runs out into the sea near Southampton. Um, we've got the Derbyshire Wye and the Dove, all written about in history going back to the 1600s, 1700s and 1800s. Um, there's a wonderful man called Harford who wrote uh, books on uh, fly fishing in the 1800s. And it got really popular in about the mid-1800s during the Industrial Revolution from the people in London coming down to the test and they would come down on a train from London and uh, disembark and they would get their bikes or their uh, carriages out and trot down to the river test where they would uh, go fly fishing. Uh, so where, do, where does the test run from? Where does it... Well, the test runs from the hills of uh, Salisbury Plain uh, right out into the sea. It's about uh, 20 odd miles long or a bit more. And um, it is a true chalk stream. To be a true chalk stream, it has to run over chalk all, all the time. It's on, based on chalk. Mm -hmm. And the beauty about chalk is the clarity of water is, is so important. Um, and there are several chalk streams in, York, in Norfolk. And so what does, the, what does the chalk actually do for the clarity of the water? Well, because it's like acts as a filter and mm -hmm. keeps the clarity there and um, it gives a really good um, vibrant fly life uh, because uh, the insects like the type of um, water that is in that uh, they lay their eggs and they, they hatch on there. But then we've got the freestone rivers, which is the Derbyshire Wye and the well, not so much the Derbyshire Wye, because that's a free, that is chalk to, to a degree over chalk. But some of the other rivers, like the Wharf... And what, what do you actually mean by a freestone well, river? Well, a freestone river is a river that where the river comes off the hills and runs over boulders and rocks and, uh, and uh, gravel. And uh, that is a different type of habitat, but again, a very exciting habitat for fly fishing. And so does that, is, is the, what's the clarity of water or the comparison between chalk stream and... Well, well there's clarity on both because in their own way, uh, because it's running over rock all the time, it doesn't get silted up so therefore it's clear. You will find that when you get to the lower parts of these rivers, though particularly on, to, on the, not on the test, but on the, on the chalk stream, but on the uh, freestone rivers, they will get into a slow, muddy, uh, rather grungy looking stuff, like the river just up here we've been looking at, mm. the River Ouse, the Great mm. Ouse, which rich, rich, uh, comes right away from Bedfordshire all the way through Cambridgeshire and, uh, and out to sea near Kings Lynn, mm -hmm. one of the major rivers in, the, in East Anglia in fact. Mm -hmm. um, now there are no trout just around here, having said that, the sea trout run this river and we very often find them up at Denver Sluice which is, as you know, about mm. uh, 10 miles from here, mm. so they do and come through as much. And that's in Norfolk. Yeah. So there's a lot of different rivers. England and, and uh, UK as a whole with some tremendous fishing opportunities. Uh, what, what about up in what about up in Scotland? What's, what's the fishing like in Scotland? Well, the fishing in Scotland is, is traditionally probably everything to Scotland and salmon fishing. That's probably very true. Um, 